Hello everybody, welcome back to a new Grotto Finger tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'll be showing you on how to add masked AI to Grotto Finger. So first of all, you want to draw my description so link for that inside of the description. Scroll all the way down to the see Mass AI and download the unit package that's going to be right here. So for this, you need Photon VR, uh, just simple because it's all networked and synced. So yeah, um, there is as well, but this example thing where you just have like basic setup. This thing, you know, I'm going to show you this. So um, you want an collider probably depending on if you like want to jump screw or anything uh, you don't even necessarily have to but yeah i have a light on here so you need a nav mesh this is something that you definitely need um i would turn off auto braking but if you don't have this go to the package manager and there will be a package instead of the unity registry i think it's called unity ai or something um yeah here uh, ai navigation <laughs> i don't even have to do this version but that's okay so um you can do all of your settings you know this is just basic stuff, a bit of speed and stuff. Um, you also do not need to set up here because it's right down here. You know, you have it instead of the script. So, what you all need is the Kiss Master AI script. You need a photon view with the ownership transfer to take over. You want synchronization to be unreliable on change. Um, this is automatically, you know, just auto find all of the components. Uh, yeah, you want to add there in photon transfer view, turn off, use local, no scale needed if you want to, but it doesn't really do anything. So, yeah. So, uh, for the AI type, you have random. This one will just randomly, stupidly walk around wherever it wants to. Um, I can show you this. Make sure to mute the game, because I think. Yeah, I think it's not muted. But yeah, you guys can see, it completely ignores my player right here, even though it's standing right here. It's just randomly walking around. Here it is. So let's do radius. Now, as soon as the player is inside of this radius, it's going to start chasing the player. So, for example, let's put it over here. Oh, it still has me. Oh, whoa. Get over here. Yes, it has me detected, I think. So, <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, there we go. No, it didn't. So, you can now see he will just randomly walk around as normal um but as soon as the player you know kind of gets close to him he's gonna be really aggressive and will try to kill you i guess raycast is kind of the same thing um it's just a little bit different okay so basically it's gonna be instead of the radius still but the difference is if it can't see you or can't meaning this one cannot detect you through the wall if you guys can see the red radius is here, he could not see me. Now he would basically chase me because he now could uh, like see me. So that's kind of the thing with that one. Sorry to interrupt, but this is going to be really, really quick. Okay, so uh, if you want to support me and keep the content going that I'm currently doing, uh, you guys can just support me. This is the link, but you can also find this inside of the description. You can just like donate or uh, like just go to the shop and buy like premium skits. Yeah, uh, I hope you have fun watching the rest of the video. So this one is Whipping Angel. Um, Weeping Angel. You maybe know this. I think it's from a movie. Um, basically, if the player looks at uh, whatever this is, it's a cube. Um, it won't move. Now let me look away from it. Yeah, see, it will already start going towards me. And then when I look again, it will stop. It will stop again, and it will stop again. So you guys can see, it kind of takes a little while because it kind of smooths out. That's why you could probably change the acceleration so now it will just you know instantly stop when you look at it um so he comes around the corner player cannot see him uh now i can see him Oop. and yeah <laughs> he ain't moving he's just like a statue you know yeah. yeah that's kind of the thingy with this ai you have a ton of settings here to play around with um but yeah, so I'm going to show you the simple setup for this. For every single one, okay. So, random, you don't need anything. You just need the random move range. This is what kind of range he's going to move around, you know, in. Uh, so he doesn't walk too far away with just one simple walk. Um, move speed, I think you all know what the move speed is going to be. So the radius this is just going to be the detection radius. And just again, the movie radius. Detection radius, when it plays inside of that range, it will try to go to the player and the random move range is just again the same for just like in the red one where it's just gonna walk around for raycast um you will have the detection radius again it's the exact same thing uh but now yes we'll have the wall layer right here 
which I would actually set to only default because default is probably your colliders here. So this one's slightly default, this one has the collider. So it's not supposed to, um, you know, like look through this. And now the last thing is whipping angel. Uh, you know, have the exact same thing again with the check time thingy. Um, this is basically like how often the checks uh, to if like the players here. Um, it's the seconds. Uh, so yeah, uh, oh, I'm just having this on low. So the one thing that you really need though is to go to your player. We go to head, probably. And now you want to add the red tag. I call it sync player. You want to set that instead of the script as you will see right here. The sync player is right here. And now if you have a weeping angel, um, what you want to do is when you go to the player, right click it, and then create a camera. This camera doesn't matter at all. I don't give a shit about this camera. Now, all that you want to do though is that now if you have a look at this, if we join the game and we connect to a lobby, suddenly our display changes to something completely different. Our um, thing, our camera is not displaying what the player sees, it's displaying what this, um, what this camera sees, which is kind of bad. And so you don't want this, so what you all want to do is change the target display to display 8, that's what I'm usually doing. So now this one won't bother you and you still are using the right camera. So this is all that you want to do. Yeah, bye bye and love you all.